Watch this. Read what you got. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Because guess what? When you heard about slavery and the atrocities that happened to the black man, what happened to us historically was not a coincidence. What happened to the black man in slavery was not a coincidence. It was prophetic. It was punishment for our disobedience. And we still disobedient today. What happened to the black man? Who think? Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. My good sister right here in the green shirt. How you doing, ma'am? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you know, what's your, you know your nationality according to the Bible? What is it, sister? A lot of our people say, yeah, and this, that, and the third, but the truth of the matter is we really don't know. Get that Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it out. A lot of people out here don't know who they are. They don't know their nationality. You walk up and down all day long, all your entire life, without having that identity. Watch this. Who you got? The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. He, how you doing, brother? He know Christ black, but he don't know how to fool. He don't know the scripture. You know what I'm saying? You said you know Christ black? So you believe in the Bible? Where you, where you from? What's your nationality? I'm black. You black? You look like you, where you, you ain't, you from St. Louis? Yeah, Water Rains. Water Rains? Okay, now watch this. You said you know Christ black, you don't know how to fool. Now that's why you ask you this. Why you, why you trying to prove it? Why you trying to prove it to me? Yourself? All praises. I can dig it. I can dig it. I'm going to show you. Give me that Revelation 2014. Jesus Christ, by the way, is a black man. And not only was Jesus black, his people was black. That's right. He is a life, right? The, Jew, the Jews, historically, all was black, always was black, and they black today. I'm going to show you that. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So this right here is describing Christ. We read Revelations 1 and 1. It tells you that this is the revealing of Christ, Jesus Christ. Now watch this. Read that again. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's describing Christ as having hair on his head and on his face being woolly. Now what takes your hair as wool? It's nappy. So do white people got nappy touch your hair? Yes or no? No, they don't. But in our Christian churches, we go to church every Sunday faithfully. And all in the church, we got white images of Jesus Christ and the disciples. They got long, silky, blind hair, blue dead hair. But the Bible said that Christ's hair was woolly. Today we say nappy. Christ was a nappy headed man. Watch this read. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now the Bible said, give me the Genesis 1, 40, uh, 49, you know the one. So the Bible said that Christ's eyes was red, but it says as a flame of fire. What you think that means? You don't know? When it say Christ's eyes, it says a flame of fire. I'm going to show you. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth shall and his teeth white with milk. This was the prophecy way in Genesis. Prophesied Jesus Christ hundreds of years before he even stepped on the scene. Thousands of years before he stepped on the scene. The prophecy was that he was going to come with his teeth white as milk and his eyes red with wine. Meaning the whites of his eyes. You ever see over the black men, they, the whites of their eyes is red? It kind of happened when you drink liquor or wine. Christ drank wine a lot. So the whites of his eyes turned red. So go back to Revelation 1 and 14. So when John the Revelator saw Christ, he said, let his brother have when he heard the whites of his eyes was red like a flame of fire. Watch this. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were, were as a flame of fire. And verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. And watch this. The Bible says, and his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? 
Now, as if they burn and they burn it. As if they what? As if they burn and they burn it. So the Bible says he was the color of brass as if it burned in a furnace. If you burn something in a furnace, what color does it come out? Come out darker. So not only was Jesus Christ a brown man, he was black. Blue, black, purple, black, horny, black, Wesley Smith's black. Kodak black, black. Bring it up. Michael Blackston black. So, the Bible said that Jesus Christ was a black man. Now give me one verses 13 and 15. So, this is what Jesus Christ, this is what John the Revelator saw. This is a biblical description. We took the description and made it an image. And all throughout the walls of Russia and Spain and Portugal, they got hidden in these old ancient cathedrals that was built by black men. They got images that look just like this here. But when they pushed us out of Spain and out of Portugal and out of Europe, they started whitewashing the images. They took these images like this that was on the wall and they put white paint on the faces. And they came up with this image right here. And they gave us this image of slavery. They forced this image on us. It's all in the Bible. Christ warned us of this image. This the mark of the, this the image of the beast. Bring it out. I'm gonna show you that. Watch this. Who you got? The book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Unto the image of the beast. Who was Christ talking about? Who was the Bible talking about? It says he had power to give life. Who was the he? And he is the white man, the man who did this to us, who put us in yokes of iron and chains. He said, he, this man, had what? And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image should, that the image of the beast should both speak. So it says the image that he created was going to speak. How does this image today speak? This white image of Jesus Christ. This image of the beast. How does this image speak? Now follow along, brother. The Bible says that the white man had power to give life to the image that it can speak. How does an image move? Let's think. Today, you got it in your hand. Cell phones, TV screens, they movies. It started off with pictures. Now they got movies and television and TV shows, cell phones. You type in Jesus right now on YouTube, it was just like this is gonna pop up. It up. It's the image of the beast speaking. Watch this, read what you got again. Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Talking about their technology, watch this. That the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Should be what? Should be killed. When the white man came to the shores of America, look what they did to us. They came burning the image of the cross and this white image of the beast right here. When you look at this sign, uh, you see what that brother got in his hand right there? What's that right there? That's the cross. God never told us to wear no cross. That's the image. That's idolatry. It all stems from this. They had cahoots. The cross, the white image of Jesus Christ. He just read in the Bible that he was black. And the church. The Bible just said he was so black. He looked like brass burned in a furnace. Give me that my 14 and 2. So what we show you is it was already prophesied what was going to come to happen. Wow. What they was going to come to do. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me that uh, 2 Corinthians 11. Is that what I want? Another part? Another? Watch this. Mm -hmm. It was already prophesied that at Christ, after Christ died and left the Israelites, he said in the last days, many shall come saying, I am Christ, or I am Christian, and shall deceive many. Who is the many? The black and Latino community. We have been deceived, bamboozled from the true image of Christ and his message. Watch this. Listen to what the Bible says. 11 and 4. 11 and 4. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. The Bible says if he what? For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. He says, if he come preaching another Jesus, what does that mean? What color did the Bible just say Jesus was? We 
we back. So is this another Jesus? It's another Jesus. Read. Verse, verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached. They didn't preach a little white man, blue eyed, blind devil. Word. Just the image of the beast. They did not never come and preach no image like that. Word. Read. Or if he receive another spirit. So, or he receive another spirit. What's the other spirit? The doctrine that come with this image. The doctrine that come with this image is Christmas. Celebrate December 25th. Uh, this is in honor of Jesus Christ. Christ's birthday went on December 25th. You know? News flash. That's idolatry. Christ didn't go worship the Lord on Sunday. Right. He worshiped the Lord on Saturday. News flash. That's idolatry. The Bible commands the black man to have a beard on his face and fridges on his clothes. The Christian church say, oh, no, you ain't got to do that. Come the here, Bible right. tell you not to eat pork. The Christian church say, oh, no, you can do that now. The Come Bible on. say the woman supposed to have on a dress and not supposed to wear pants. You see what I'm getting at? Everything is, they come with this image and the Christian church is contrary to the Bible. That's right. Read it again. And it's all under the banner of white Jesus. Right. The image of the beast. Read the scripture again. Verse 4. If he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if he receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, that's the other gospel, or another gospel which ye which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Verse 5. Let that man be a curse. Dismiss yourself from him. Separate from him. Right. And that's why we telling our brothers and sisters to come out to these Christian churches. Because it's another Christ and it's another gospel. Right. It's not the gospel of the Bible. Now give me that Jeremiah 14 and 2. I made a statement. I said that Christ was black and his people was black. I'm going to prove that to you. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Now question. You said you, where was your father? You said he was African American? You want Jamaican, the West Indian, or like the African American? Let me show you something real quick before I read the scripture. Come here real quick. Now, if you used to look at this sign, right? This is just a side note. It kind of ties in what we're talking about here. When you look on the names on your right side, these are the names that the white man called us a slave. Right. You're not going to find African American, West Indian, Puerto Rican. You're not going to find these names in the Bible. We got to be in there somewhere. So when you look at the names on your left, these are the names that God called us. These are our biblical names according to each tribe. So all these people you see on here is one family. Blacks and Latinos, we all the same people. We just come from different tribes within the same nation. There's 12 tribes of us. So when you look at this sign, you get a picture. When you look at this sign, which tribe do you come from? Now, what, what, where was your father? He was black. So he considered like African American, right? Hey, you, you could be from the tribe of Gad. You say that was American Indian. You could be from the tribe of Judas, one of the two. So, because we got it all mixed in. But watch this. I want to show you what the Bible says about the color of the tribe of the color of Judah. The, the color of the tribe of Judah. Watch this. Read you got? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Do the morning and the gates that are of language. They are black unto the ground. What we'll color are the Jews? the tribe of Judah? They are black unto the ground. What color did the Bible say the tribe of Judah was? The black. Now, do you know what that means when it says black unto the ground? You mean in Genesis 2? When it says black unto the ground, it means it's black as the dirt. If you was to put your hand, like right here, black as the dirt, black as the ground. And that's kind of the light. You know, the farther and the darker, deeper you get into the earth, it gets darker and darker. So when the Bible says that the tribe of Judah is black until the ground, means black as the dirt. You black as dirt. You know, we used to say it was killed. Well, you you under the bed black. You know, you ain't you so black, you ain't got no shadow. That's how you know, the Bible says we black until the ground. I'm going to show you who else was black until the ground. Watch this. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. The Lord God for men of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. You know who that's talking about? Mm -mm. 
Yeah, it's about God. He's creating something. Read it again. Verse 7. And the Lord God bore man unto the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He said he formed man from the dust of the ground. He's talking about Adam. So if you create something from the dirt of the ground, what color is it? It's black. It's black. So what color was Adam? He was black. He was black. Adam was a black man. That's right. Now when you look in the movies, you see Adam and Eve as white people. Give me Job 30 and 30. So the Bible says the tribe of Judah was black. That's the same tribe Christ so happened to be from. The Bible said that Adam was a black man. Let me show you something else. Then I'm going to give you your identity. I will show you from the tribe of Judah. I'm going to show you how. Question. Let me show you this verse real quick. Job chapter 30 and verse 30. Watch this. Hey. The book of Job chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job was an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. He was one of God's chosen. This was a prophet in Genesis. The Bible says that he was what? Verse 30. Job himself wrote this. Read it again. My skin is black upon me. The Bible he said, my skin is black upon me. The brother getting goosebumps. He, <laughs> we will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we live in it, the greatest time on earth, revolution. A spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down in earth.